Steve Morris is an engine builder who doesn't need an introduction these days. Not too long ago, his engine shop, Steve Morris Engines in Norton Shores, Michigan, built the Devel 16, a V16 5,000 horsepower engine that cemented him as an elite builder of boosted, supercharged, and turbocharged engines. Today, his shop only builds engines that are more than 1,000 horsepower. I'm Greg Jones, the managing editor of Engine Builder Magazine, and welcome to Engine of the Week. This video is sponsored by Cometic Gasket, sealed by Cometic. We aren't going to dive into the Devel 16 today, but rather one of Steve's more recent engine builds that he had on display at the 2017 PRI show, a pro-modified top sportsman engine with the 481X platform. Here's Steve himself to tell you a little more. So this is a 481X platform, so solid billet blocks, solid billet heads, uh, this particular one has a Vortex supercharger, so a gear-driven supercharger, runs on methanol, has all of our componentry on it because I make the billet intake manifolds, billet valve covers, bracketry. We do any of that kind of small fabrication work like that. This top sportsman is a 3,500 horsepower Vortex engine. It's an engine that Steve believes would be a real good option for fast grudge cars, fast top sportsman cars, or anybody who wants the best in a centrifugal supercharged piece. The best part, the engine is both durable and dependable. That's thanks to this engine using a Bryant crankshaft, MGP connecting rods, diamond pistons, King engine bearings, and a Holla EFI system. It also has Steve's custom camshaft profile, which he sends to the manufacturer to grind to his specifications. Now making 3,500 horsepower doesn't always come without its challenges. Steve had to take some extra time during the dyno stage to work out some kinks on the 481X engine. I've been struggling with some issues with the engine on the dyno that are electric related. Mm -hmm. I've had this thing on the dyno for three weeks. So by the time, you know, you get a part in, you test it, get a part in, test it again, you know, and trying to hunt down and diagnose problems, you know, ends up all of a sudden the thing's on there forever. In an engine like this, I would have a dyno test in tune, have 80 to 100 hours into it. Aside from the machine work on the block, balancing the internals, engine modifications and assembly, the tune is one of the most critical elements for a high horsepower engine like this one. There are very few people who actually dyno test and tune stuff at this horsepower level. So that's why Steve Morris Engines is one of the best if you're looking to make more than 1,000 horsepower. Or say 5,000. Well that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. If you have an engine that you'd like to see featured, send me an email at gjones at babcox.com. See you all next time.